Greetings to all. In this particular video, we are going to discuss on a new concept, but a continuing concept from hypothesis testing. With regard to hypothesis testing, we have seen in the previous videos on how hypothesis testing is going to be used to either accept or reject a particular hypothesis. That is either null hypothesis, which means no new things have happened in contrary and there is no alternation to the original facts. And other being an alternate hypothesis, which means that there is a complement to the original which is being happened and there is a new thing which is going to be argued. Let us see this concept of accepting or rejecting a hypothesis in terms of say a confusion matrix. This confusion matrix forms a basis as an evaluation method in classification algorithms in terms of say a binary classification with two outcomes like positive and negative where our model can either predict a particular classification input as positive or negative with respect to its target being positive or negative. With these two interconnections forming a matrix of an evaluation that is going to be called as a confusion matrix. Here, if my model is going to say a particular output as positive and if the original answer is also positive, that is the target is also positive, then I say, yes, the model's answer is true and I call it as true positive. In case, if the model says positive, but the original answer, that is the target is going to be negative, then it means that the answer positive given by my model is false. That is, the original answer is negative, but the model is giving me positive. Hence, the answer is false. And altogether, I call it as false positive. In similar way, if the model is going to give negative and the actual answer is positive, then it means that the answer given by my model, which is negative, is false. Then I call it as false negative. If both my model and target is giving me negative, then I say it is true, correct answer by model and it is true, negative. In this particular alignment of true positive and false positive, false negative and true negative, we have other evaluation criterion surrounding this particular confusion matrix where we have something called as precision, which says that number of times the model says positive towards the number of answers of true positive being occurred. Say for example, in this particular scenario of this particular row, I can say the model is going to say A plus B times positive. That is, the model says A times positive in the first cell, B times positive in the second cell. But only the first A times are the correct positive or the true positive. That is, the number of times the model says positive is to be equal or it should be weighted by the actual positive terms. So, it says A divided by A plus B. Similarly, we have another term called as recall or sensitivity. Where this time, how the target is going to react. That is, the number of times the model is actually saying either positive or negative and how many times it is actually catch. So this is actually sensitivity or recall of the particular model. This sensitivity is an important parameter to be taken into consideration in all critical applications like medical and health sciences, where this is going to be much effective that even you can say a particular thing which is critical as, sorry, even a particular thing which is not critical as critical, but saying a critical entity is not critical is highly sensitive and that is taken care by this particular entity and similarly we have true negative rate as specificity and we have negative predicted value as with respect to the model's answers of negative. Altogether we have the final term that is accuracy which takes into account of all correct answers of the model in the numerator divided by the total number of answers given by the model. So this is how the entire confusion matrix is structured. Now, this confusion matrix can be aligned to the requirements of hypothesis 
where the main heroes are null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis in the place of say positive answer or negative answer. Now, if you see here in hypothesis testing, errors are categorized in terms of accepting the hypothesis, which is null or an alternate hypothesis. So let me actually substitute here, like instead of having it as positive or negative, let me have here it as null hypothesis or alternate hypothesis. Now, if the model is going to accept a null hypothesis, but the actual thing is null hypothesis need to be accepted, then it is correct. There is no error. Null hypothesis is accepted in target and model is also accepting the same, so no issues. And in the same way, if alternate hypothesis is going to be accepted and target also says alternate hypothesis is accepted, then now also there is no error, fine. In the contrary, see the negative diagonal in this matrix. If the target says alternate hypothesis should be accepted, but the model is accepting null hypothesis, then I call it as type 1 error. I'm repeating it. If the model is actually saying null hypothesis is accepted and the original is alternate hypothesis is accepted, then it is called as type 1 error. On the contrary, if the target says null hypothesis should be accepted, but the model is wrongly accepting the alternate hypothesis, and it is the second type error that is type 2 error. This type 1 error and type 2 error plays a critical role in the model evaluation, especially in terms of hypothesis testing. Because whenever we do any kind of classification algorithms, we just stop with precision, recall, specificity values, and accuracy. But when you go for validating your model or testing multiple hypotheses for different scenarios, then there is a requirement to analyze where actually the error occurred. Now, if you see very clearly, type 1 error is oriented fully towards precision of the particular model. And type 2 error is oriented towards recall. Now, it is well, well understood that the precision and recall values, which is playing a critical role in classification algorithms, is also represented in hypothesis testing in terms of two names, that is type 1 error and type 2 error, with type 1 giving weight to precision and type 2 error giving weight to recall. So I hope now you have understood very clearly on the effect of null hypothesis, which means nothing new has happened and the effect of alternate hypothesis, which means a new alternation or effect is happened to the model or the particular inputs with respect to a different scenario and whether my hypothesis is going to be accepted or rejected by my validation model. And this validation should be with respect to the original fact which is being occurred. So in this particular hypothesis testing, if any error is going to occur, that is even the validation is going to have error, then that error need to be categorized. And how it is mapped to the original confusion matrix values, that is type 1 matching to precision and type 2 matching to recall is what being explained in this particular video. Thank you. We will see in the next video on pattern recognition.